All right, now we're doing 8Q Color Ghost. This is by Ogrizek, Ogrizek and 83% of the people like it. We're creating a class Ghost. The Ghost objects are instantiated without any arguments. Ghost objects are given a random color attribute of white, yellow, purple, or red when instantiated. All right. So, as we can see, we're going to do something like uh, something.color. So, basically, we're going to, and since it says stuff like instantiated, we're going to have to do something about instances. So, when you see anything about instances like that, we're going to do this. So, this.color, and we're going to say that equals, and now we're going to make an array with these in it, all right? So we're going to say um, little single quotes, comma, and then I'm just going to copy and paste, paste, paste. So now we got four things there, white, yellow, red, and what else? Purple. All right, and we don't need this last one. All right, so now we're going to have to access this array, and we're going to do this. And uh, to access the array and to pick a random one of these, we're going to use this math.random. So math.random function returns a floating point pseudo random number in the range 0 to less than 1. So it's inclusive, inclusive as 0, but not 1, with approximately uniform distribution over that range which you can then scale to your desired range. The implementation selects the initial seed to the random number generation algorithm. It cannot be chosen or reset by the user. All right, cool. So basically, it's just going to be math.random, and it'll give us a 1 through, excuse me, a 0 through uh, 1, but 0 to 1, or something like that. You know, hopefully you know what I'm saying. So we're going to say math.random, right and now since we've got four choices we're going to multiply that by four right that way if it's like uh, 0.9 it'll be uh, like three what it'll be like 3.6 right uh, so now we're just going to have to make it uh, cut off what am I trying to say we're going to have to make it cut off the uh, decimal points Actually, do we have to even have to do that? Hold on, let's see. No, we don't. Let me see. Yes, we do. All right, so we have to cut off the decimal points somehow. And to cut the decimal points off of it, uh, we're just going to say, we're going to use this math.floor. And the math.floor function returns the largest integer less than or equal, equal to a given number. All right? So we're going to say, we're going to wrap this in parentheses, and in front of it, we're going to say math dot floor all right that way if it's like 3.6 it'll just come out three so it'll say uh it'll you know if it comes out three it's going to say zero one two three all right and it's going to choose purple so now let's test it out attempt it all right and there we go it works let's submit it my solutions there we go just uh, the three of us, best practice in my opinion. Very much like it, and we'll see you next time.